What's up, my friends? How's it going, everyone out there in TV land? <laughs> Whatever you want to call it. Welcome. I'm Fireball, and this is Art Talk Live on Facebook. Unless you're not watching it live and you're watching it later on, which is um, on YouTube or something like that. Uh, you can watch it in a variety of places. What's up, Jerry? like your hat, buddy. Uh, good to see you yesterday, as well as many other people that uh, attended uh, what amounts to be the most spectacular wheels and waves yet. Holy crap. Uh, I was beside myself, uh, so much so that there was two of me walking around. That's how weird it was. I don't know what that means. Uh, welcome to, to Art Talk today. We've got some interesting stuff for you guys today and uh, a great subject, I think, and certainly a, uh, a variety of, of things, especially this, this which came in the mail. going to be talking about that shortly from uh, our good friend Joseph Stone in uh, Australia. Monique Wood, good morning. Welcome to Art Talk. Uh, today's subject, the importance of trying new things as an artist. Uh, sure, it's obvious. You should try new things. It seems like an obvious thing. But we, as we always do, we start up here and we end up down into the, the depths. Um, I do have my coffee, which I'm stoked about. Smith, it's Tim's. Uh, good morning, Valerie. Good to meet you finally face-to-face -face at Wheels and Waves. And uh, Kimo, what's up? Uh, Timbo, good to see you. If you guys need a house, want to buy a house, talk to Tim. If you, if you want to, I don't know, hang out and have uh, something interesting for breakfast, I'm not just going to have toast. I'm going to have something else. <laughs> uh, momentarily. Momentarily. Uh, but we got a lot of things uh, to go over today. Uh, first off, this is Art Talk. We do this every weekday. No, we don't. We do this every Monday. I'm just not, I'm still not used to it yet. We used to do it every single day. But now we do it every Monday here on Facebook Live at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time from Malibu, California. If you have not joined us before, our goal here on Art Talk is to help you guys be more creatively powerful in the world uh, with all the nonsense that's going on. How do, you, uh, how do you make sense of it all? Or do you even need to? And uh, just get creative and have a good time uh, like we did yesterday. Holy crap. Thomas Rosenbaum. Thanks for joining us. Good morning. It was so fantastic meeting you at such a great event yesterday. Well done. Thank you, Valerie. I appreciate that. Uh, if you got a chance to watch the vlog... Uh, today, I, I very much want to make the point that although I may be steering the ship as far as wheels and waves, uh, it's nothing. I I'm not I'm not doing anything without you guys, without uh, uh, people bringing cars and people coming and having a good time and uh, just bringing the cheer, bringing the positivity. Uh, we had a tremendous amount of it. Uh, I was overwhelmed with. Uh, Simply the fact that, that everyone was having a good time, you know, really enjoying themselves. And people took a chance, took a chance. And uh, it was very cool. So uh, regardless of, uh, for our talk today, a couple of updates that we want to give you guys before we get into today's uh, uh, focus subject, which is the importance of trying new things, which is, you know, what we're all about. We're going to try new things today. And that's what this is. <laughs> I'm not sure I want to try it, but I'm, I'm going to. I'm going to. Uh, but that came to us uh, courtesy of Joseph Stone in Australia, who's going to be watching any moment. Uh, hopefully he's in. Uh, Bob Ricewasser, what's up? Well, so I want to make sure I don't uh, miss anybody. Uh, Rick White, what's up, Rick? Good to see you. Well, I kind of didn't really see you, Rick. I saw your face covered. I saw your eyeballs. Or not, you know, had glasses on. So I saw your, I, yeah, I saw your car. Yeah, that was cool. Uh, what a success for Wheels and Waves. Uh, that show, oh, how long has it been going on? Well, we've been doing shows for more than a decade now, but the uh, we started out Malibu Cars and Coffee. Uh, we started that show many years ago uh, in Malibu, and it was just kind of a limited space, about 60 spaces. Uh, we had to bring the coffee in, all that kind of stuff. Uh, and then and then I gave that off to the city because we wanted to expand and get something bigger going. So we went to Gladstones, and that was a snafu. Uh, uh, we had 600 spaces, and and it, and Gladstones didn't they didn't know what to do about coffee. You know, they brought out coffee for 20 people, and there was like 400 people there, or whatever it was. Uh, so uh, then we moved to uh, the Country Mart in Malibu, and uh, we had to deal with the Malibu Kitchen people, um, the soup Nazis, and the and the mean people of, of, of all that kind of stuff. Uh, and uh, so uh, then we moved over to their A location. Big thanks to Koss, 
uh, Financial, who uh, who owns uh, Country Mart. Uh, I have a recommendation if you're going to start a show. Always start a show with the landowner, with the people that, that own the property. Uh, don't do it with a coffee place, things like that, because if the coffee place disappears, like Coffee Bean has in Malibu, uh, then whew, your show is gone. So uh, we uh, we tried to be our best and, and come up with the best laid plan. Uh, I, I believe that it's the best cars and coffee there is for a number of reasons. Uh, we have music. We have uh, MC Ken Vela. Uh, certainly have some great cars, which most most shows have. Uh, but we have us we have a lot of celebrities, and most celebrities are not going to make their way down to Orange County or down to um, you know other places. Uh, they want to wake up, walk to the coffee place, and happen upon a car show. <laughs> That's what we're doing. So, uh, but we uh, we did have uh, we were graced with Bruce Myers from uh, the Peterson Museum and the number one uh, first production Cobra, which you'll see on the vlog. So if you watch today's episode nine hundred and ninety two. <laughs> Whew! Bing! Uh, and also we had Barry Weiss from Stories Wars. We had uh, Johnny D'Agostino who brought in that that uh, um, very low Auburn Speedster, which was very cool. That was built in Sweden, by the way, in 2019. That was very cool. And I uh, had a great time. So uh, now that Wheels and Waves is over and we've kind of come up for air a little bit, it's time to hit you with Muscles and Mojo, which is happening at the Murphy Museum. August 2nd. Now, the, the original plan was that Murphy was going to be opening August 1st, but uh, Ventura City laid the smack down, and we can't open the museum just yet. Uh, so uh, we're, we're, the museum won't be open, although it'll probably be open for the bathrooms. You know, we'll, we'll have it open for that. But um, the, uh, uh, the show itself, the Cars and Coffee, uh, we're going to have August 2nd. So if you want to come up, and you want to enjoy uh, the northern area, Ventura and Oxnard, a lot of those people that did not come down to Wheels and Waves, you're going to see a whole different set of cars. It's going to be pretty cool. Uh, updates for the for Tony's book. Uh, we are, uh, if you guys know, my company is Fireball Publishing. We do the world's coolest uh, coloring books. And we are doing the world's first autobiographical coloring book, which is uh, uh, the Tony Dow coloring book. And Tony played Wally on Leave it to Beaver. All the sketches are complete. Uh, very excited about that. Uh, Tony has written. Uh, Tony and Lauren have written a an autobiography that is on the other page. Uh, a little bit of a story for each one of those sketches. So we're very excited about that, and that comes out August first on Amazon. And uh, currently driving the uh, 2020 Jeep Compass. I don't know what that's going to get switched for, but so far so good. It's a car that you'd buy your your daughter to go to college, you know, kind of, kind of stuff, or your son. I'm not sure if your son would want the compass, but, um, you know, your son would want the Wrangler. That's for sure. Uh, I would want the Wrangler. Uh, and um, uh, today, uh, the vlog came out today, so check that out. But uh, uh, today we're going over to Point Doom, and we're taking a look at a, I would I would guess, a 20 to $30 million mansion. We're going to be vlogging uh, a, a place in, uh, in Point Doom that's right on the bluffs with uh, Paul Grisanti from Malibu RE. Dot com. Uh, so Paul is uh, probably one of the number one realtors here in Malibu. He's also running for mayor, which is kind of cool. Root beer in the drinking fountains, people. That's what's happening. So I'm going to be uh, vlogging that. So next vlog will be that. And then I wanted to give you guys a, an update. Uh, I told you that Kathy's you know, uh, creating some different things and stuff. And she's creating uh, uh, masks. She's doing custom-made masks, and these are kind of cool. So these are her new pinup masks which is this one and, uh, and this one. I think that's the same girl. It is. But um, virtually all of them will be different. So this one's a different girl. Yeah. So uh, if you order one of these masks, you would order them through us. They're 20 bucks. Uh, they're all custom made. And what's nice about them is that they, they fit and they don't, they don't touch your mouth, which is nice. But she's also got some Hawaiian versions. Uh, this one, this one's pretty. That's kind of pretty. That one's a pink one, yeah, with the flowers on it and stuff. Uh, she's making vintage trailer. This is uh, uh, Volkswagen buses. So uh, we're going to have these at Buellton, which is kind of fun. Looking forward to that that show. If you've never been to the Buellton Vintage Trailer Show, that's going to be happening uh, in September. September 21st, I think, is the first day. We're going to be there for four days. Tony Dow's going to going to join us for that. And uh, there is like 300 vintage trailers that are going to be there and the custom cars that go with it. Uh, it's a spectacular show we've been doing for a number of years. We'll have an all-new coloring book, which is Station Wagons. Ha! 
and the masks, and uh, we'll be hanging out, partying, all that kind of stuff. Uh, and then the last thing that we're going to do today on today's Art Talk, after we talk about the importance of trying new things, which is kind of like what we're doing, what we're talking about, right, uh, is uh, we're going to take this piece of toast right there, and I'm going to take this knife, and I'm going to lather on lightly, thanks to uh, Joseph Stone in uh, Melbourne, Australia, what is in this package. <laughs> I'm a little scared about it, I don't mind saying but it came all the way from Australia. Big thanks to Joseph. Uh, I hope he's watching at the moment. Um, morning, Chris. What's up, buddy? Good to see you hang out and have lunch yesterday. The subject of today, the importance of trying new things, is, you know, we're, we're trying new things. <laughs> I'm going to try this today. <laughs> but uh, Kathy is, um, you know, she's been a costume designer and builder for the last 40 plus years. Uh, and if you know Kathy's history, uh, her website is kclproductions.com. Uh, she built all the all the characters for the Ninte for the uh, Nintendo characters, all the commercials. Uh, she built um, Globy, which was the mascot for the Harlem Globetrotters. Uh, she built uh, all the mascots for the Ellen DeGeneres show. Lots of really amazing stuff. Watching on my morning four mile walk. Good for you, Chris. Very good. Get out there, uh, make a difference. Um, we're gonna try new things. Try new things. That's what we're talking about. Okay, so let's talk about the first thing. Why is it important to try new things? Um, if you look at your your brain like a computer, and you have you have the hardware and you have the software, and the software your OS system in your mind, uh, your your computer can get stagnant if it keeps repeating the same crap over and over again. So it's important to uh, to learn new things, uh, and you keep your mind fresh when you're constantly seeking, constantly searching, looking for answers and learning new things. It's a really important uh, aspect of mind building is to, um, uh, uh, to constantly challenge your mind to discover new things. And that's really important, especially now that a lot of people that are succeeding with COVID and, and all this uh, virus nonsense that's going on, uh, and people that have really good attitudes about it, is that they look at this as an opportunity. For the first time in history, first time in history, the the, resur the the surgence of the desire for health is off the chart. It's a bigger now than it has ever been in human history. Pretty amazing stuff. Um, uh, even to the point where I read this article, I, I'm vegan, so I you know I'm, I'm not going to go and eat a, a regular hamburger. But um, I read this article, or Kathy read this article about Burger King. Is that Burger King is doing a vegan burger, you know, with Beyond Beef. Uh, but they're also doing something which I think is kind of funny. I don't know. It's funny to me. Uh, but they're they're reconsidering what they feed the cows so the cows fart less. You know? <laughs> I, you know, so there's less methane uh, that goes into the, into the atmosphere. And so we're all not breathing cow farts all the time. You know? Well, I commend Burger King for trying to make our planet less, um, you know, less smelly, you know, or um, uh, they've become fertologists uh, in their desire to to make cows, you know, uh, what's another word for fart? You know, squeezer? <laughs> I don't know. You know, whatever terms you want to come up with that uh, that signify that. I, I, I commend them for, for doing that. Uh, but ultimately, we're all trying to be healthier, uh, and Chris, of course, is a good example. He's walking four miles. Now, for some of you, four miles may be like, oh, I can do that in my sleep. I'm not one of those people. Uh, but four miles is a good is a good size walk, and it's important that you want to get out there and, and do things and, and be fresh. But you want to, in, the, in the, the striving to try new things, as you walk, Chris, as you're walking right now, I challenge you to make a left at the next left. And go somewhere you haven't gone to before. Maybe get lost a little bit. Mm -hmm. Try new things. Challenge yourself, okay? So uh, learning, consistently learning every day is really important. And, and to try new things, which is why I have to try this in this package. Which I'm going to open shortly on today's Art Talk. Uh, James Beecham, what's up? Welcome back from... England, I believe. Uh, James is in England. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, Chris, so just make a left, make a right, you know, uh, flip a U-turn, dance, I don't know. Say hi to people. Uh, do something that's challenging, something that, that you don't normally do. And, um, uh, and that's that's important. It's important to learn new things. That's number one. Number two is uh, it helps you to stay fresh and alert, uh, which helps you stay um, present, 
right? Pubahaja Grand Puba to Panga Porsche to put a wood artist place with a waterfall after wheels and waves. Chris, I have no idea, buddy, what that means. I don't, uh, that's, that's Swahili to me. So, uh, not really sure wood artist place with a waterfall. Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know. <laughs> keep going, keep going. Um, yeah, I want to know what that means. Uh, fresh and alert. Uh, we're constantly looking. We're seeking. It, it's like you have a, your system is constantly uh, moving forward and searching for new things, searching for answers. And But in order to have an answer, you have to pose the question. And the question is, you know, what does this mean? What do I do next? What? How can I make today the best day possible? And that's why we do Wheels and Waves. That's why we do coloring books. That's why we do the masks. That's why we, you know, we do all these kinds of things is... Um, it's to try to find a way to give the world more. Uh, you know, when I said this to Chris, we went and had lunch uh, after Wheels and Waves. And I think it's important to recognize that if, you were, if you're doing events or if you're doing, uh, if you have a product or if you teach kids or, you know, whatever your business is, is that every day you should strive to improve that aspect. Is that what can I do today that I didn't do yesterday? Right. So my question to myself for for Wheels and Ways is, what can we do next month that we've never done before last month or in previous months? And I think that's what keeps people coming back to the show. It's like, what's going to happen next? What celebrities is going to be new? What uh, cars are going to be new? Uh, what's Fireball's uh, uh, hat going to be? I don't think anybody cares. I don't even know what my hat's going to be. But from time to time, if you haven't noticed, I swap hats. Don't care. Oh, my point is uh, trying to keep people guessing, keep pe things fresh so that you can come there, uh, play some music. Wasn't MC Ken Fella great? Isn't he awesome? Yep. Uh, it's so nice to have an MC at a Cars and Coffee. So basically we took the best of, of car shows and then condensed that down into a Cars and Coffee, right? Because at car shows you have, a, you have a best of show. You have a MC, you have music, you have all the great things that make a car show really cool, but only in two hours. Beep! Right? So that's how you keep things fresh and alert. So you can do that. You can apply that to whatever it is that you're doing today. If you drive from, from point A to point B or F in some cases, um, and you always drive this direction, try driving a different route. Try eating some different food. Try uh, going to the bathroom at a different gas station. Whatever, William Robertson. Thanks for watching. This is Art Talk. Uh, Walter ha uh, Roth is also watching. Thank you. Uh, let us know if you guys, this is the first time watching Art Talk. Uh, it's live. We're on Facebook. Um, uh, let us know where you're watching from. It's always cool to see. We know James Beecham is in, in England and Joseph Stone is in uh, Australia who sent me this. Yes, Ken Villa does rock. Rick White, thank you very much. Um, also, uh, number three, exploration. It's what drives us as human beings. Um, it's how America was discovered. It's how um, uh, it's how parks are discovered. See, I like I like going into cities and randomly driving around. And if I get lost, so what? You know, you find your way out, no big deal. But you find parks, you find uh, waterfalls, as as uh, Chris was is discovering in his Porsche. I don't know. Uh, you know, whatever you're wherever you're going, you're, you're discovering new things. And as a result of that, I used to take the a map of Los Angeles. And then I grid out the map according to this, the, the, the size of the map into like one inch squares. And then I would go and I would explore that square. And I would drive, I take the day, I take the day. And I would drive and I would discover that one square. And I wouldn't go out of that square. And I discovered all kinds of amazing stuff, all kinds of amazing stuff. And as a result of that, now, you know, we get to take our granddaughter to these little parks where there's nobody around. Uh, we get to go and feed the ducks somewhere. We get to go and see a view that no one's ever seen. We take a hike in a place. We didn't know that there was a, a uh, trailhead in this place. And we discovered all kinds of uh, neat stuff. Uh, Monique is watching from Vegas. Hoo-ya! Uh, are the casinos open? I don't think they are. My brother lost his job. He was at um, Red Rock Casino. He's not working there uh, at the moment. They probably will rehire him. Uh, number four. Uh, hi. Hi. Did you try it yet? No, I haven't tried it yet. You want to come in and try it with me? Did you show them this cool mask? I did. I showed them all these masks. But did and you have this one? I don't have that one. Kathy's got another cool one. These are the bandana masks. It's full-on badassery. Look how cute you look. Mm -hmm. Took a shower and everything. You've been 
smell <laughs> quite nice. Yes. Uh, you want to come back in five minutes? Okay. Come back in five minutes. And I have some toast. I'll cut it in half. Uh, no, that's fine. No, you have to eat some. <laughs> I'm, you're not going to make me do this myself. <laughs> I'm scared. I'm scared. Uh, so, like the show, the TV show that we love, everybody loves, Star Trek. If you don't love Star Trek, crawl back under your rock, your star rock. <laughs> uh, star Trek is all about discovery. Uh, Titanic, discovery. I guess you discover what the bottom of the ocean looks like. Not a great reference, you know. But my point is that we, we like discovery. We like trying new things. Trying new things is kind of fun, kind of exciting. And, and sometimes you discover something that you can't stand. It's terrible, right? But at least you now you know. And you can say, I don't like mangoes or I don't like Brussels sprouts. I happen to like both, by the way, just in case you're wondering. Uh, Sean, oh, my brother Sean's watching, uh, opening our poker room at Red Rock on the 3rd of next month. I'll be going back to work. <laughs> yes, good job. Uh, good on you, Sean. Way to go. Uh, glad to hear it. Everyone give a Sean a, some love and some claps and some whatever it is that you can throw out there. Uh, always nice when... You know, people lose their jobs and they, they have a hard time. And and now he gets to go back to work, which is exciting. It kind of doesn't really even matter what happened in the past now. So um, uh, you can try some new things, which is really cool. Um, Sean, what exactly is your job again at Red Rock is my question. Is that I, I want to be able to describe it um, easier to people. And of course, if anyone's in Vegas, go to Red Rock Casino and you can see my brother Sean. He's right there. Um, next week, going back to work, third, third of next month, sorry, third of next month. Uh, the last thing, uh, you know, there's no risk, uh, there's no reward without risk. Uh, this is something we've all heard. Uh, it's a question of whether we're actually doing it, right? Uh, Mulholland at 101 doesn't go to PCH. Hiking trails and Porsche don't mix. Oh, <laughs> very funny, Chris. Um, uh, Sean's a poker dealer. Yeah. Yep, that's right. Uh, I do like, I, I, I would like to have a Red Rock chip. Yeah, I would like to have one of those chips at some point. I guess I'll have to go out to Vegas to go get the chip. Um, uh, no no reward without risk. So uh, that's gambling, right? That's gambling. That's what it is. But in the, in the, in the scheme of life, uh, the, the house is us, right? Is that uh, whatever you put out comes back to you. So when you take a risk and try something, you could fail. That's true. You could fail. And people uh, are afraid that they might fail, so they don't, they don't take the risk. Uh, I'm of the opposite vein, is that I take risks simply because I want to know, uh, I want to know what something tastes like. I want to know what uh, uh, what it's like to be in a, a, a different place, a different location. Uh, and, you know, and we're, we're discovering stuff that's right up the street that we didn't know about uh, here in, in, in Malibu. So, um uh, it's important to try new things. Uh, it puts us in touch with spirit. Uh, it puts us in touch with the present moment. And uh, and that's where true creativity exists. And as artisans, which we all are, I don't care what you say, uh, you know, you're you're an artist. We are all creation beings. We all create stuff. We create. Somebody created this toast. Someone had to dough this, blah, you know, whatever it is. Someone created this plate. Someone created this knife. Someone created my pair of scissors. And I have these here for a reason. Uh, someone created these masks. And you know who those are. Uh, that is, right? I think she's kind of cute. I haven't decided which girl I like the best. But that's a... She's kind of cute, right? Pin-up masks only from Kathy. Very cool. Uh, so if you, if you, anybody if anybody wants a mask, uh, let me know. 20 bucks. They're custom-made. They're handmade. They're awesome. Okay, so let's get into... Um, well, into the thing I, I really am a little bit nervous about getting into. Oh, Tina joined us, so I'm feeling a little bit better about that. <laughs> Not really. Um, Luis is with us. Who else? Uh, Colette. Uh, my brother, Sean. Very cool. Okay, so here's the deal. Kathy. Um, <laughs> I'm not going to do this alone. Uh, so we were given a... Um, uh, we are sent something from Joseph Stone, which I haven't seen if Joseph is watching yet. Sydney's is watching. Uh, do you want a chair? No. Okay. Uh, you didn't even notice I had my kitty cat mask on. Kitty cat mask. Meow. All right. Uh, what happened to the other mask? 
Sitting outside. Okay. All right. So, uh, uh, Joseph, thank you, Joseph, if you're if you're watching now. You sent us this this package. It's all the way from Australia. I'm not going to tell you his address, but he's in he's in Melbourne. And um, you want to open this? Mm. Okay. I guess I'll do it. It's a little scary. Um, but it's a box. Okay. Okay, this might take a little bit more time than I expected. But it's a box that has, anytime you get a box that it says it's a lamp, makes Just me a little bit nervous. I'm, I'm a little <laughs> nervous about it. Okay. Is that, that the entrance? I don't know. That's what I mean. This is this is a special Australian um, box. Wow. Okay. Wow. Now, in America, we have a lot of interesting things that we eat. Not everybody eats uh, peanut butter, as an example. Um, some people like to um, feed their animals peanut butter in other countries because they won't eat it themselves. But in Australia, they eat something that we don't really eat here too often. I don't know anybody. You don't know anybody who'll eat this? Yeah. I don't even know if they sell it here, but if they do, uh, I've never seen it. It's not a big seller. Yeah, not a big seller. Um, and for very good reason, <laughs> she can't open the package. That's why. No, there it is. All right. Directly from Australia. Vegemite, baby. I know it's backwards, but that's what it says. Vegemite. The glass is not broken, Joseph, so it's it came in good standings. Uh, and we have our toast. You ready? We have to take a sniff first. Oh, I didn't even like that toast. It's not gluten-free. Well, you didn't make your toast. I made my toast. <laughs> so, okay. It's opening. It's kind of scary. Oh, looks like motor oil. Whoa! <laughs> wow! That's an... Oh! Yeah. That's interesting. It has kind of a... Almost a kind of a soy. A little bit. I mean, like 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 soy sauce. A little bit. Yeah. Let me think. Yeah, a little bit, <laughs> almost like, cho <laughs> like chocolate. Uh, maybe I think I have to leave now. It's 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 kind of soy sauce, chocolate. Chocolate. Yeah, there's a little bit of a, a chocolatiness to it, but not really. Okay, now we we've been told that you don't want to lather on the 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 Vegemite. Oh, we need to see what this what what it is first. Oh, yeah, because what if there's meat in there? Yeah. Uh, yeast extract. Yeast grown on barley and wheat. So it's definitely not vegan. I mean, not not uh, gluten-free. So uh, hopefully her head doesn't explode I'll from the gluten. probably have an attack. <laughs> yeah, gluten attack. Salt, mineral salt, as if the, uh, the regular salt wasn't enough. Malt salt extract. salt is mineral. Well, this says mineral salt plus salt. Uh, color, flavors, niacinthamine, riboflavin. So it's got vitamin B's in it. That's good. That's a plus. <laughs> I don't really want to try it. But it says added B vitamins. Proudly made in Australia since 1923. Hmm. Okay. It's mostly so, yeast. Hold that. So it doesn't fall on my lap and end up all over my lap. Okay. I'm cutting the the the, 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 the bread in half. The gluten bread. Okay, you hold on to it. Okay. Wait. We don't want Here, that on this there. This would be like an advertisement. Yeah. For, you got to hold it lower. Oh. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my God. It's... It sounds like dirt. Yeah, it's like I just pulled this out of my nose or something. No, I'm just kidding. I hope you don't pull something like that out okay. of your nose. Now, I'm putting it on very lightly because that's what Joseph recommended. I think that's sort of like lathering. No, that's look how light that is. That's light. That's light. This is yours. This one's yours. What? You get that one. Yeah. <laughs> you can take the bite first if you want. Oh, my God. All right, I will. Well... Okay, then I'm I'm gonna lather mine. You put you're putting less on yours. No, I'm not. Yeah, but I still have to finish art talk. You can go into the next room and throw up if you have to. Okay. All right. Well, this okay. part doesn't. I, I put it on water. half, so I'm gonna try it. Okay, you ready? Mm-hmm. Okay. Salty. Extremely salty. Mm-hmm. Really salty. So. It's like bitter. 
Yeah, it's, it's, it's. Salt. It's like a, a salt thing. It's incredibly salty. Oh my God. I think I could have used half. Well, why would you use any at all? You know, but I think it's important to take a second bite just to make sure. All right. It's salty as, as we think it is. Well, I didn't gag. No, I, yeah. Um, so my really question, salty. my question is. Um, really salty. No, you can finish it. I think you should finish it because mm. you went all waste. You, you are always talking about never wasting food. Mm, now important. my teeth are salty. Yeah. yeah. Jesus. Hold on. Okay. I'm having some uncontrollable shivers at the moment. Bye. I've got to go have some peanut butter. Okay. Can you can you bring me something? Anything? I don't care what it is. Oh. Um, okay. Uh, um, try new things. It's important. Um, it's important to try new things. And, um, and to see whether you, you like stuff. Wow. Um, there's a lot of Vegemite in here. And I think it's important that not only that I try this, and I thank Joseph for sending it all the way from Australia, which is really cool. Uh, if you just joined us, we just tried Vegemite. Uh, you'll have to go back and watch and to get my reaction. You two are adorable trying the, uh, well, I don't know how, how cute that is. Uh, because I'm still reeling. Uh, but uh, Joseph, I thank you so much for sending this to us because it is important to try new things. Might go good with wine. Oh, a glass of wine. Oh. Mm. Funny how amazing that wine tastes just like orange juice. <laughs> mm. Thank you very much. Salty sweet. Mm -hmm. I'd recommend uh, the perfect breakfast treat, Vegemite <laughs> and orange juice. Mm. Delicious. Uh, so... Guys, this is Art Talk. Uh, we do this live every week, every week, once a week, uh, every Monday uh, on, on Facebook Live, uh, Pacific Standard Time at 8 a.m. And it's important uh, as artists, as artisans, uh, that we, we expand ourselves and grow in, in the best ways that we can so that we constantly improve. We constantly seek and discover new roads and new adventures. Uh -huh. Like it's a movie. My dogs are in here. You left the dogs in here. They want to escape. They saw the Vegemite. It's like, no way. We're not having any of that. Uh, at, regardless, um, I thank you guys for watching. And uh, I'm going to bring this Vegemite to Muscles and Mojo and probably to the next 12 Wheels and Waves so that all of you guys can try it. Because I think it's important. I think it's important that uh, we all get in this together. <laughs> Uh, lastly, uh, uh, as a final update, we do have our Tony Dow coloring book. It's coming out August 1st. Very ex excited about that. Uh, if you want to join us for uh, our adventures in the automotive world, uh, head on over to FireballTim.com. You can subscribe there or hang out with us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all those areas, and you'll see the nonsense that we're happening. The upcoming show, Muscles and Mojo at the Murphy, that's happening August 2nd, Sunday, August 2nd, 7 to 9 a.m. Join us for that. Uh, join us for uh, Art Talk uh, next Monday. We have to do it every single Monday. Uh, or if I see you on the street, join me for some Vegemite. <laughs>